Musk Nomad by Anik Gatal is one of my very favorite perfumes. It is a seductive murmur of a musk that's not too dirty, but it's not too clean either. And it smells lived in, which I think is the secret for a very beautifully seductive perfume. Because when you wear a fragrance that doesn't smell, it doesn't have some sort of aspect of being a human being, you know, whether it's that smell of skin that's been touched by the sun or maybe even a little bit of sweat. I don't mean full-on body odor, although some people like that in their perfume. But a perfume does need to have just a little bit of our inner animal on it because otherwise it just smells like we've sprayed ourselves with air freshener. So Mousse Nomad by Anique Gattal definitely has that. It's very light. It's very gauzy. It's not one of those thick... Um, eye-watering musk perfumes. It's not one of those fork in your frontal lobe kind of white musk perfumes. This one smells a little more vegetal. It smells floral and vegetal and the vegetation almost reminds me of kind of like dried flowers, not quite potpourri, but more like uh, vegetation or something. So it's very mysterious. Uh, it's warm. It has a lot of air and it's very gauzy. And um, it starts to get quite buttery when it's on your skin. Now, the funny thing about Musk Nomad was the first time I smelled it, um, probably about four years ago or so, I couldn't actually register what it smelled like. Um, and that happens with musks. Not everyone can smell musks. They um, oftentimes in musk perfumes, the perfumers will throw in a whole bunch of different musks kind of throwing them at the wall and thinking that one of them is going to stick because the deal with musk molecules is that they're quite big and not everybody can perceive them. So I guess they have a, a hard time registering in our, in our smell center. So for some reason, I was anosmic to musk nomad, and then a year later I revisited it and decided it was completely ethereal and beautiful and lovely. Now, like a lot of the Anique Gattal perfumes, uh, it's marketed as both for men and for women. I have the lovely Lady Bottle version of it, which is um, glowing right now, but it has um, beautiful uh, vintage ribbing down the side. It's shaped somewhat like a gourd. And if you've seen the Anique Gattal men's bottles, they're just kind of more chunky square bottles. Same fragrance in both of them. And as you know, perfume doesn't have a gender you have a gender. So maybe, maybe you don't. Maybe you're switching that gender. But in any event, whatever smell you put on your body is perfect for you. If you love it, go ahead and wear it. Um, the thing I love about Musque Nomad is that it's not so much furry as cashmere -y. So it, it's, it, it's kind of softly billowy around you, and it's subtle as well. So I think it goes great straight from the office for a night out to an orgy without breaking a sweat. Can't ask for more than that. I'm Katie Puckrick and I smell.